Welcome to the second race of the Walmart Super Speedway Series. We are at Coca-Cola Night. The race of Super Speedway Series race just ended. Now they have the Walmart cars out there on the racetrack. There's the full qualifying results. And as always, we'll take you to trackside. <coughs> Carter Joey in the 21 and Carter Friesen in the 22. Starting on the front row for today's race, or tonight's race. Patrick Mew, Daytona winner, starts third. Right alongside Stephen Larker in the 34. And here is the race command. Drivers! Start your engines! Engines fired up, field set, and they're rolling right off. Trucks all cleaned up after that mess we had from that final lap from the green white from the green white checker or overtime so will we see similar racing uh, most likely all right let's check in the back for a second thought someone uh, had a mechanical failure but you're just getting lined up. Pace car is in. Here we go. Getting ready for the green. Late night racing with this series. Here they come. Two to stripe. And the green flags out and we're underway. Most of the back stay side by side. But the front we already see three, four wide racing. Oh, the one getting out of shape already just barely scraped the wall 34 and 21 two Mustangs pushing down the back straightaway took our tandem going to work already they've already pulled away they got a okay gap oh here they go still gonna push still pushing he was looking he's just, just trying to get some air oh trouble trouble oh, uh, here we go and just like the truck at the Reese's race, there's a caution on the first lap. And we're coming off turn four, too. Oh, it doesn't appear to be a big wreck, though. But we'll see. So, we'll uh, take a look at the replay. The 21, your race leader. See a 13 car all the way up on the outside. Way up against the wall. Nearly five wide. He bounces off. So did the 48. But he hooks the 30. They both go around, a 30 car almost goes upside down. Yeah, not a big wreck, only two cars involved pretty much. The 30 car uh, just kisses the inside wall, he should be fine. So first caution of the night. That was pretty unexpected with only two cars involved in that one. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are off on the pace car. Carter Joey in a 21, your race leader. Had some help with the 34, pushing him away from the f from the pack. The play was going to make a move in turn 3 and 4, but he didn't. He just couldn't get there. All 34 cars still remaining on the racetrack as we wait for the pace car to pull in. So get set for the green. Here we go. And the green flag's out, we're back underway. Good start for the 21. 34 is getting a push from the 27. Here comes the Penske teammates. The 24 behind the 2. Blaine Keys and Orius. There goes Carter Friesen, he gets second. If they're going to work together in tonight's race, they better have better communication. Or just find a different partner to work with. But it's better with teammates. Now look at them, five wide cars coming out all the way against the wall, out of the groove. Will they make it out? 
Just a couple scrapes, that's it. Whoa, 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 hang, hang on to it. Everyone check out, checking up, panicking. 36 to the apron. Freezen looking for the race lead. So is Keys in a two car. Oh, that was close. Joey tried to get to the bottom. Couldn't get there in time. And oh, the 30's up in smoke. 30 cars up in smoke. And are coming up towards him as well. Is he out of the way? No, he's there. He's right there in the middle. He should get down the pit road though. He should be able to get by him. Should be on pit road now. You can still see some smoke. Yeah, he's on pit road. Oh, 21, 40, 14, 88. Careful. No grip. Everyone to the bottom. Or as far as they can. You see back there the 11 able to fill a ginormous gap. Uh, the two way up high. He's going to get into the wall. Oh. Just barely touched it. Did a little touch. Can't even notice it. Bottom line looking strong. Here comes the 99. Jacob Davison getting a push from the 1 and everyone on the bottom line. There's a 27. Oh man. Almost. Almost had him cleared. And almost caused a wreck. I forced the 99 to check up. 5 on off the wall. They're okay. Plenty of room. 18. Jade uh, Jefferson. Just getting down the bottom. All the way down to the apron. He's alright though. Here comes the 11. Big shot from the 28. On the 99. He scrapes it. Doesn't bounce off of it. Just scrapes it. 22 is still out front. Got a fast car at Daytona. Is another fast car here at Coca-Cola. Got a comfortable lead here without help. Oh, the 1, the 31. And once again, they don't wreck. That's impressive. I don't know how these guys are doing it. Lap after lap, there's cars bouncing off the wall, but they all somehow avoid the wreck. Here comes the 28. He's got his nose in there. Jack Lacassie in the 28 car. He has the 11 behind him. He decides to go to the middle. Three wide. Three wide for the bracelet. Down the back straight away. At bottom line, coming on, coming in fast. 34 leading him. 11 sees it. He goes to the bottom. Oh, oh, trouble! Oh, this time they can't do it, and it's gonna be a much bigger wreck. Coming to the stripe, who's gonna be there at the yellow? It will be the 11. 11 car, Mitchell Collins. He'll take it. And we've just reached the halfway point. So second yellow of the day or the night. We'll take a look at the replay. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's about time. Well, we all expected them. We all expected the big one. The 18 off the wall. Clip the 48. And then there's another wreck. I don't even know where to start, though. A lot of contact there. Oh, I can't really see because that ginormous wall. You can see the 18 going upside down. Pull sitter to 21. A lot of damage on his car. And Jay Jefferson goes for a tumble. His night is over. His night is... Yeah, his night is done. He's using a separate wreck. He's using a second wreck. Got on to Kyle in the 39. The 5 as well in the back of him. And the 1 car. Turn him over. Does a couple more rolls. 39 probably saved him from tumbling even more. Probably would have went over the wall. But luckily he didn't, and 
17, Patrick Muir, the Daytona winner, also involved. Let's take a look at how the first wreck started. Now, which one's the first one? Or whoever spins out first. Okay, now this is the second one. There's Al Legacy in the 10. Trying to get back onto the racetrack. Oh, so close. He got clipped. And then the back end hits the wall. I th That would have been a really good save. He didn't want to go down pit road. He decided to get back onto the racetrack. I think going up pit road would have been a smarter move. I think he was trying to save it and the car just reared back to the track. I think that's why. Maybe. I don't know, I'm guessing. Alright, well, they get back to the restart. Six to go when they take the green. 29 cars remain. Our first cars that be out of the race. Five of them. 30, 18, 39, 1, and 21. Alright, here we go. 11, 34, 6, 28, 88. Here are top five. Alright, here they go. Will they make it or get another caution? Or we'll go into overtime. Still time for one more restart. They get caution now or the next lap. Here we go. Hopefully it's clean and green all the way through. Green flag is out. We are back underway. Some say to the outside, a few of them to the inside. There goes a Henrik teammate, 88-24. There goes a 34, Steven Larker into the inside. Looking for the race lead. Eleven got help from the 28 car again, but Steve goes up high to block the position. Here comes the six. He's got help from the 88. 38 down there on the bottom, no help. Well, now he has help. He get the drive off the 88. There goes a six. Marcus Tatchi. He'll take the race lead. 14 just bounced off the wall. Not a big one. Eleven looked to the inside, but back in line. And the 34 just led that one. Goes to 24. He's going to make a four wide. Does not want to help the 38. He's got the 22 pushing him. Steve clears the 6 coming into turn 1. He'll hang on. He leaves the 11 on the outside. Here goes a 6 car. Marcus to the inside once again. Thirty-eight, nine, twenty-two, twenty. Got a few drivers from the back of the pack working their way up to the front. Got three fours working together. Got a pair of teammates right there, but the six is just blocking them. Here he goes inside. Thirty-eight gonna go to the top. He goes with the thirty-four. Six got no pusher. Steve leads to another one. Drops to the bottom, covering the bottom. Even though his teammate's up there, he has to cover the bottom. They get the jump on him off the corner. Or actually in the corner. They get some really good runs coming off. Down the corners. Six still looking, but this time he'll stay in line. He's not going to make a move this time. However, the 20 will go. Steve will block the bottom. See the six card get some kind of run. Uh, no, he can't. No way. No push. Twenty-four left him out there. And now we got three Henrik teammates now within each other. Oh, no worries. He's gonna fill the gap. He'll take advantage of that. So up there on the outside, the faster line, and he's gonna go with the twenty. No, he's gonna go all the way to the bottom for the race lead. Three laps to go. And here comes the six car again. But again, oh, oh wait, there's the 88 behind him. He's got a whole pack of cars coming behind him. Might be able to make that bottom line work. 24 still has him cleared, pretty much. To the bottom. Oh. Can't do it. 88 big push to the six car. Go to the outside. No, it's blocked. 
20 will go with him and he'll lead this one for sure. Two to go. Two laps remaining, four wide, maybe even five wide. Here comes the 24 on the outside, fighting back. I like to see the 28 with the big push. 28 car. Another big push, but he has no one to help. Well, the 48 was behind him, but they're all the way out of the groove. They can't do it. Oh, he's in the wall. And here comes the 20. Max Anderson. Inside. Out to six. 24 on his bumper, 38, getting a run, and teammate to back it up, back him up, there he goes, shoving his way to the bottom if he can, here they come to the white flag, oh trouble, oh, oh, here they go, does that count, is it a caution, I think it is, caution is out, 38, just let it, Dexter Black, so, wow, close one. Coming off turn four, they end up crashing. They waited till the near end, near the end of the race. And we got ourselves another caution. Our second, third yellow of the day, or the night, we'll take a look at the replay. So both races will end in overtime. Let's take a look here. Ryan Pitchard in the 31 to 98 trying to make a move. The 7 almost goes upside down. The 48 gets hooked. I think it's because to hit the 48. You can see they just closed pit road. It took a while for them. Should they grade the caution? Like, yeah. Let's go to overtime. Yeah, Bouchard in the 48 car. I think that's why they threw the yellow. Not for these three, but for the 48. So when did they throw that yellow so you can get an angle and they throw on board one of these other cars? Okay, there's a yellow flag. Okay, it came out way before. So they're spinning, they're spinning right there. Yellow yeah, caution comes out. Well, three of them are still on the racetrack. I think that's just everyone but the seven. Uh, whatever, it's all four. So they're nowhere in close to start finish line to take the white flag. So, well, let's look. You can barely see the flag stand from here. Not even close. That's how big this track is. So we're going overtime. Dexter Black will be the leader and, uh, well, reset the field and go on overtime. So there you have it. Um, well, not there you have it yet. So Dexter Black and Max Anna will lead the field, will be on the front row for the green white checkered and uh, there will be 28 cars 28 cars that will restart in this green white checkered and uh, we'll take you to it right now alright here we go overtime once again getting ready for the restart who's gonna win it 31's got problems or nope he gets back in line here we go green flags out here we go 38-34 has the advantage well let's see they're gonna work with each other they will for now till they drop the white flag or any chance he gets Look at him get him right on his back bumper. Look at the push he's giving to him. Six car there. To the top. 34 does not make a move yet. He looks. There he goes. 38 to the outside. Not up to speed yet so he could make that bottom line work. Side by side. Here they go. Oh, look at the shove to giving each other. 34 to the front, to the race lead. Here they come to the white flag. Now he goes up in front. Or maybe not, 22 or 38. I think he'll stick with the 22. White flag is out, one more time around. 
Oh, getting close. Contact. Here comes the 22. I got cars on the wall. Oh, six. He's going to go around. And here comes Carter Friesen. He takes the race lead. Big run. And a big crash from behind. Here they come down the back straight away. Teammates still pushing as hard as they can. Look at that 38. Locking bumpers here. Careful now. Don't push too hard. All the way to the bottom. Tony Green leading the bottom line. Oh man. 48 almost wrecked again. Here comes Steve. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. Here he is. Oh, he almost, he almost turns him. Back in front. They wreck. Here comes Tony Green. Checkered flag is out. And Tony Green wins a wild one here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Oh, man. Wow. I don't believe it. They didn't even finish. Oh, man. Well, that was. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say after that. Holy shit. Tony Green steals one. Oh, damn it. Here at Coca Cola Super Speedway. What a race that was. What an end. Oh, man. That's. That's insane. I thought something like that would never happen again, but it did. I thought they were gonna save it, and then <laughs> I don't even know. We gotta take a take a look at the four race results first, and we'll take a look at the um, four race results. Uh, no, I mean the uh, the crash. So Tony Green, did he win in any car race like that with the leaders wrecking? I I, they, I think so, or was it someone else? I'm not sure, but we'll, we could just go back and take a look at that. But oh man. What a finish! What an end! Al Lagasse second, Andrew Johnson third, Jacob Davison fourth, Samit O oh, fifth, Tim Randolph, Mitchell Collins the thirteen, Blaine Keys, Alexander Rowe, your top ten. You can already see the full race results. But uh, let's get um, see the other wreck in uh, turn uh, one and two first. I'll cut to that. So they're they're pretty much four car tandem right here. They're pushing as hard as they can. They push too hard in the corner and they all go up against the wall. But the 93. But he ends up uh, pretty much taking out the 6. Spins himself out. He gets into the wall. The 32, nowhere to go. Ryan Butcher in a 32 car. Big contact. And you can see the 31. He gets into a wreck himself. That was a pretty hard hit. Got a 13. He was pushing him. Got onto the left side. Pushed a little too hard. And send him. Way up the racetrack, right in front. Man, that was really nailed the wall with the back end. And Zachary Fitzwater, we just saw him just limping across the line when the leaders have already, when the other drivers have already finished the race. Hard impact for the 31. 14, lot of damage, and yep, here comes the excitement. Look at this. Steve gets a one hell of a push from his teammate in the 38. Big push. 22's out there all alone. So you know they're going to get the jump on him. He cuts to the bottom. He gets the suck off. The suck off. The, the draft. <laughs> off the 22. And he's pushing on the left side. He's trying to do something. I don't know what he's trying to do. And coming off turn 4. He, he gets them sideways. And look they're already wrecking back there. They're already wrecking back there. So we saw the helicopter cam. Look at the 22. Look how sideways he is. He comes back, he nails the 34, 48, 7, they both spin out, I know the 7 kept going, the 48, he couldn't keep it straight, wow, the, both the leaders, they're a 1 and 2, Steve was the leader coming across, and oh, look at that hit, Bouchard, he just gets rammed by the 9 car, right on the door too, and it goes upside down. Look at that thing twirl. Did he at least get across the line? Uh, the 34, did he help him? Nope. He helped him to get back on all four wheels. Ugh, that wall is so big. Ah, no. How close was he? Uh, well, no, not that close. 
Uh, let's take a look at the other one. The first wreck that, uh, not the first wreck, that this one. Dexter Black, he got a push from the 11. He turns him around. 88, 20, 88, kept it going. Great save. And the 38, my god, what a hit. And synchronized spinning and crashing by the 20 and the 36. And you can see those two leaders again. Wow, Dexter Black, a big hit for him. He was third. He was the leader uh, coming to the, at the restart. And, you know, things happen. You know, overtime is always crazy. But has it been this crazy in a long, long time? Talk about classic racing. This is an original series. This goes way, way back. Back when it wasn't called the ISCR. And stuff like this with these crazy ass wrecks where. Well, uh, they usually don't have it on the final lap, but near the final lap. Or, you know. So, Tony Green. He gets a free one right there. It's a good one, but who cares? A win's a win. He put it, he put himself in that position. You know. He wins the race, and let only one lap. And that was the final one, of course. Oh, man. That was insane. Tony Green, your race winner. I'll now take you to victory lane.